Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. Wanted to apologize for not getting this video out sooner. We've had some issues with our dog Wilson who's our firstborn. We rescued him back about 10 years ago from the Animal Foundation when we were living in Las Vegas and he's had some medical concerns uh, the last couple weeks. So I've been taking him back and forth to uh, vet appointments and just haven't had a chance to get out a video. So if you can keep Wilson in your thoughts and prayers, we haven't quite figured out what's going on with him. So um, he's been throwing up and uh, has a really bad cough, but all his blood works perfect and everything else is really good with him. His, all the tests that we've ran on him, uh, they just really can't figure out what's going on with him. So uh, if you could keep him in your thoughts and prayers, we would definitely appreciate that. But this is Wilson. But this is our big sweet boy, Wilson. But this video is actually an update on the mom and foal that we rescued back on April 15th with all of your amazing support, which we can't thank you enough for because if it wasn't for you, we would not have been able to rescue this mom and foal. Um, if you're new to the channel and haven't seen that video about the mom and the foal, um, on April 15th, I was scrolling through Facebook and I still follow Sexton Horse and Mule because that's where we rescued Freya from. And a post came up about about a, a mare that had just dropped a foal in their field and uh, the mom had not been handled or touched or haltered or anything like that she was pretty much a wild horse these were the pictures that were posted on their Facebook page of the mom and the foal that needed to be rescued. The mom looked completely defeated and the baby just looked terrified. So there was no way that I was going to let these two go to slaughter because that just it's just not right now here's one of these little mares come off the Indian Reservation in Utah. She looks like a halfling or cross, five years old. Got this pretty filly baby this morning. It's nursing good. She's got plenty of milk. This mare's got big feet and a lot of feathering. It's probably a half draft or something. We got a pretty filly baby right there. This mare's done coming, eat and feed and stuff. She ain't near as wild as she was. I had been talking with Mark, who is a friend of mine from Illinois, that was looking for a horse uh, as a, a pasture pal for his horse that he has. His name's Calvin. And when this mom and foal came up, I contacted Mark because uh, there was no way that we could, at the time, take on another horse here on the farm. Uh, we had just uh, put Lucky down and we were rescuing Liam and two other horses and uh, things were just a little bit crazy around here and there was no way that we could take on a mom and a baby. Um, but when I reached out to Mark, uh, since Janine was here, Janine and I had a long conversation with him, and actually it was a very long conversation, over an hour, uh, talked about everything with the horse, and he decided that he was going to, uh, he wanted to save them and adopt them. So of course right away we started fundraising and raised the funds that we needed to save the mom and the baby from shipping to slaughter. And I know there were some, some people that said that I was using scare tactics, um, for my videos to try to get people to donate, but I challenge you to uh, look and see what the statistics are on animals shipping to Mexico and Canada um, from the United States. I challenge you to look at those statistics because they're, they're true and it, it does happen. Um, and this was a post the next day after we rescued them from Sexton Horse and Mule on shipping, on the horses being shipped to slaughter. This is a post on Sexton Horse and Mule's Facebook page the day after we rescued the mom and the foal. I'm not sure how many horses were actually left that didn't get rescued, but there were horses that shipped to slaughter that day. But anyway, uh, this video is an update about uh, the mom and the foal and what's going on with them. So we got all the money raised and Janine, while she was here, my amazing friend, uh, we could probably conquer the whole world together if we really tried. Um, but we did manage to get transportation uh, scheduled for the next day and we got the mom and the foal out of there as soon as possible. So they were transported the next day on April 16th and they were delivered to Mark's farm in Illinois. Uh, he has a beautiful 
Maple Farm, 26 acres, I believe it is. Uh, beautiful property, and Calvin now has a pasture pal. So I ended up using South Haven Stables, and Clint was absolutely amazing. He sent me videos and sent Mark videos of the horses being loaded up um, and how they were doing during transport every time he stopped. So it was amazing, and we will definitely be using them again in the future um, for any of our transport needs. They were amazing and went above and beyond and definitely took care of the horses. This was a picture that Clint sent of the horses being loaded into the trailer. And then this was also a video that he sent as well. The mama looks so scared and we're just so happy that we could get the babies out of there and get them to a safe location. So mom and baby are safe and we are so happy that we were able to save them and get them to Mark's farm where they're going to be taken care of for the rest of their life. Uh, the transport company was amazing. They had a great little setup for them and they arrived safely at Mark's farm. The driver, Clint, also kept us updated as to where they were at, how far they were along. Uh, he did take this video, too, when he stopped along the way. There were a couple videos that he sent, um, but he always just checked on the horses and just made sure that they were okay, and we really appreciate the amazing care that he took for these horses. This is just some uh, videos from their time and um, how they're doing so far on Mark's farm, and uh, here you go. This is, this is, this is their update. This was mom and baby arriving at Mark's farm. The baby wasn't quite sure what to do, but mama was so excited to get off that trailer. I say she, I don't think you'll get too close to her. She wasn't sure what to do. Yeah, She's just being safe. She wanted to stay standing in there until she knew what to do. Uh, she's moving pretty good. Yeah. Two days old. I'm going to have to show them where the water is around the corner. Mr. Calvin, he was very curious about the mom and the baby arriving at their farm. Mark says that he's always very curious and wants to always know where they're at right now. So it's very sweet and we're super excited that Calvin has a pasture pal. Since the baby was born at a kill pen, we wanted to make sure that they were healthy and that mom ate the placenta and that the baby was getting all the nutrients that she needed from her mother's milk. Mom is not halter broke, so we needed to find a vet to come out to Mark's farm to give them a checkup. We did find Dr. Beasley in Southern Illinois that came out to the farm and gave them a complete checkup. They ran blood work, did a fecal test, gave her vaccines, and they also did a dewormer since she had some parasites. So mom and baby both got a complete clean bill of health. And once Mark gets her halter broken, she does need a dental, so she will be going in for a teeth float as well. Mama is a little bit underweight, so Dr. Beasley and Mark discussed the right nutrition plan for Mama to be on and to get all the nutrients that the baby's going to need. So they got that all worked out as well, and Mama and baby are on the road to enjoying their new life at Mark's farm. These are just some additional pictures and videos that Mark had sent me over the last few weeks of Mom and baby and everything that they've been up to on their start to their new life.
But this was an update on the mom and full who are, uh, their names are Daisy and Sky. Mom is Sky and Daisy is the baby. Um, but they are doing phenomenal and we're so happy that they're there and that Mark's taking such great care of them. Uh, she is still pretty feral so it's kind of difficult to work with her. So Mark is working, uh, I'm getting a round pen set up so he can work on some more training with her. Um, and Madison would like to say hi as well. Yes. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Uh, Mark does have a, an Amazon wish list if you need, uh, he needed some additional supplies. So if, if anyone wants to send um, something off of Mark's wish list, it's not attached to the foundation or anything like that, but I will put a link in the description below to Mark's Amazon wish list. Um, and again, thank you so much for all of your donations and your support and your generosity. It's absolutely amazing. And like I said before, without your support, we would not have been able to help this mom in full. And it breaks my heart to think that uh, they could have went to slaughter. And it just makes me sick. And that's what this foundation is about, is saving as many of these horses as we possibly can. So again, thank you so much for your generosity and your support. Uh, thank you so much for everybody that has sent us gifts of Alpha Pro and uh, uh, things off our Amazon wish list as well. So we've got so many things happening around here and so many things coming up to tell you about. Um, I know in the last two videos, I think I've mentioned it, that we have a, a surprise coming that I haven't announced yet and uh, something else that just happened yesterday uh, that we're really excited to talk about as well. So. Um, again, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like, our, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned. We've got lots coming up. Thanks again for watching.